got this canoe the other day, and there was uh, one thing I really want to do. The uh, the cane has ripped out of this thing, so today's project is going to be reweaving that uh, the seat there and then the one at the back. It's kind of covered with creatures and stuff right now, but several years ago <clears throat> I made this settee and I wove the seat on it. I'm going to try to do a similar herringbone pattern on the, uh, the seats on the canoe. To reweave these seats, it makes more sense if I just go ahead and, and take these frames out of the canoe rather than trying to work with them while they're in there. But before I do that, I've got this rattan or cane material, which really uh, is much more pliable when this it's wet. Is, uh, quarter inch wide rattan and I've had this stuff for years but I know you can pick it up at most any hobby center um, I have no idea how much it costs it was dirt cheap when I bought it so it probably still is as thin as this stuff is it's not going to take very long for it to to soak and get soft enough that I can weave with it on the second one. Now one thing I'm going to have to do with this, I've got a sharp corner right here. It's rounded a little bit here, and it's rounded here, but I'm going to be weaving the rattan over these corners. So I want to soften that a little bit so it's not a place where the cane might break when I bend it over there. And I don't really need to do a whole lot to this. I just want to bust, I just want to break off the corner so that it's not a place where a crease will form in the rattan as I bend it over this edge. Now that I've eased the edges on these. Next step is to dig out all this old caning material. Now, since I'm going to be covering all of this with weave, I don't have to dig every last little bit out of this groove. I can basically just cut it off flush with the edge and go from there. Now, the way this weave is going to work is first I'm going to weave just a simple loop round and round on the long axis <clears throat> because when it comes to pushing the, uh, the the rattan through the weave in the short axis it's going to be easier if I pull it through fewer lines fewer runs this way than if I try to pull it through twice as many that way. I'm going to start the weave at the outside end on the underside. I'm going to fix this right up next to the edge. Now you can use a staple gun or you can use these teeny tiny little brads. One run all the way around. making sure to pull it even there and here so that on the top each one of these is parallel to the frame. Underneath I'll bring it over to the side of the first one right there. Now <clears throat> I don't have a single piece of rattan that's long enough to weave all the way around this 
So when I get to the end of a piece, make sure that it ends on the underside. And I'm going to get a second piece. I'll cut this off here and I'll get a second piece and nail it right here under this one and then continue the weave. Okay, I have now woven all of them along the long axis. Just It's basically one continuous loop all the way around. And where, where the piece of rattan ends and another one starts, I just nail it, uh, nail them underneath one another and keep going. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start another piece under here and start to weave it through here. And you'll see the herringbone pattern emerge because I'm going to go under five, over five, under five, over five, and you'll see that as it goes along. Now a couple of things you want to remember about this. This, you want this piece to come out and stay flat so that it goes in. You don't want to get any twists in it. Another thing you want to do is cut kind of a uh, sort of a, a point on it that makes it easier to slip through uh, the weave. the first weave. I managed to keep it flat, didn't have a twist in there to deal with. Bring this up toward the edge, but not too far. Now a lot of people do the, uh, do the same over under, under here uh, for balance, um, and I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Now here's where the herringbone weave starts to take shape. We did five over, five under. We're going to continue to do five over and five under, but we're going to offset each run by one. So we've got one and then five over, five under, five over. Five under, and you can see it was, it's going to be offset by one every time we put another one of these in. Okay, now we can see that as I skip a spot every time I come around. You'll, you'll see this herringbone pattern appear. Now I have chosen to leave a little bit of a gap in here. You don't have to do that. It's, uh, it's just going to make it a little bit easier and what I've got is plenty strong uh, to hold somebody up. So I don't, I don't really need to pack as much of this rattan into this weave as I, as I possibly can. Now you can see, you can really see that pattern coming out. Um, you could do different, you could do three and three. Um, it, it could be any, any way you want to, really. There's all kinds of different patterns you can choose from. But I'm going to carry this all the way out to the other side. And, and true to my word, I've been doing the same thing on the underside. Um, and I'll take one last view of this when I've got it finished. And there it is. Nice herringbone pattern on the seat part of it. Now on the backrest, that one is not not sprung or not uh, broken, so I'm not going to redo that one. But we've got the, the back seat done. And then, of course, the front we have yet to do, but that's a task for another day. Seeing as how it is the dead of night right now. It took a little bit longer than I thought. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.